In 2016, Nigeria recorded reported cases of crime of 125,000 to 790. That's according to the National Bureau of Statistics. The crimes were categorized into offenses against persons, property, lawful authority, and local acts. Figures for 2017 have not been very clear, but the country has witnessed terrible crimes in a number of states of the Federation, with several deaths recorded. The Northeast region has been leading the pack in crime against persons and property, and following in this stead, Benue State in the Middle Belt region of the country, where herdsmen and farmers' crisis have witnessed hundreds of deaths through the use of illegal firearms. <laughs> Recently, the Minister of Interior, General Abdurrahman Dambazar, retired, raised an alarm over what he described as the high rate of proliferation of small arms and light weapons, as well as drug abuse. He said 70% of the 500 million of such weapons in West Africa, translating to 350 million, are found in Nigeria. According to the Interior Minister, it is a dangerous trend that must be checked before the 2019 elections. Nigeria has international land borders of about 4,470 kilometers with Chad, Cameroon, Bene, and Niger and a coastline of 774 kilometers, which are largely unmanned. In 2016, out of 1,500 land border crossings into Nigeria, only 114, covering about 4,000 square kilometers, had approved control posts manned by immigration officials and other security agencies. There had been reports about a plan to install electronic surveillance systems around the country's borders with assistance from the United States and China. Former Minister of Interior, Mr. Abamuro, said in May 2013 that Nigeria needed $244 million to execute the project. But it remains unclear how far the federal government has gone with the electronic surveillance plan. Various times in 2017, the customs intercepted containers filled with guns, a revelation that raised a lot of dust. In view of the alarming rate of mayhem in the country caused by the use of illegal weapons, the Inspector General of Police orders all police commissioners across the country to mop up all illegal weapons. The Inspector General of Police have directed the Commissioner of Police across the Federation in the 36 states and the Federal Capital Territory. And equally, they are supervising Assistant Inspector General of Police in charge of the 12 zonal commands in the country to immediately commence simultaneously throughout the country the disarmament and recovery of prohibited firearms, ammunition, and weapons in the possession of all suspected militias, bandits, vigilante groups, neighborhood watch, and other groups or individuals of body bearing prohibited firearms and ammunition, uh, which also include illegal weapons and other leather devices which were locally fabricated, manufactured, or modified, or otherwise fashioned out to kill and that can cause injury or death to person and that can likely cause panic, fear, apprehension, security breach, and breach of the peace, or that can cause threat to law and order anywhere in the country. It is equally of significant note to know that not only these those listed as restricted that can cause injury, equally those locally made fabricated weapons that are modified uh, to cause death that may not be listed in uh, uh, the, this prohibited uh, firearm act are equally prohibited uh, because there's a way you fashion out weapon and it can cause mass death, like uh, you, t you talk of the improvised explosive devices or other uh, weapons that can cause either death of a person or group of persons.
This operation, which among other purposes, is aimed at the full enforcement of the Firearms Act, mopping up and recovery of all prohibited firearms and illegally acquired weapons, we enable the Nigerian police force to deal decisively with elders and farmer clashes, kidnappings, armed robbery, cattle rustling, militancy, terrorism, and other crimes of violence that occurs that is occurring in some part of this country. The Commission of Police in charge of state commands are under strict instruction of the Inspector General of Police to enforce and carry out this directive in totality. And liaise with the relevant organs of government in their respective states for proper enforcement of the Firearm Act. The directive has so far yielded some results as hundreds of guns and ammunitions have been recovered by the police in some states.